In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can enter into your vehicles from the world map. One of my favourite things to do in all of the old games such as Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy VII was go into the airship during the off time in between missions to talk to the different characters and see what was going on. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials and just general discussion about RPG Maker then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So first thing we're going to need to do is right click on the map and go set starting position and airship. So we can set the airship wherever we like. Next thing we're going to need to do is open up a new map. So we're going to go new, we'll set this to inside, and then what we're going to do is get a blue sky and have it looping horizontally at a speed of say 8. Then I'm just going to map this one out. It's a pretty shoddy looking airship, but you uh, you catch my drift. The next thing we want to do is on our world map, just in the top left hand corner, I'm going to run a parallel event. And inside this parallel event, I'm going to check for two conditions, and we're going to do this with conditional branches. The first condition I'm going to check for is on tab 3, whether the vehicle airship is being driven. The second condition that I'm going to check for is on tab 4, if button shift is being pressed. Once we check for these conditions, if both of these are true, we're just going to need a few variables to get some things right. So under if airship is being driven and if button shift is being pressed, we're going to click control variables. Now the first variable we want, we're just going to call this map data. We're going to make two more variables. One will be player X and the other one will be player Y. Now under map data, we're just gonna hit okay. And what we are looking for is the map ID. If airship is being driven and button shift is pressed, the variable map data is going to store what map you're currently on. The next variable we're going to look for is the player's X. So select player X, game data. Then over here where it says character, we're looking for player map X. We're just gonna hit okay. And we're gonna do the same thing for Y. Control variables, player Y, game data, character, map, y. And what we're doing is when we're pressing shift, let's say we're over here in the airship. When we're pressing shift, the game is storing the information of where we are and it's storing that in a temporary location. After this information, what we're going to do is fade the screen out. Then we're going to transfer the player over to the airship. And just one last thing we want to do is we want to turn on a switch and that switch is going to be called Inside Airship. Over on the airship, we're going to do a new event, which will be a parallel process, and it's going to check to see if Inside Airship is on. If it's on, then what it's going to do is get off the vehicle, set the vehicle location of the airship with the designated variables, so map data for ID, player X and player Y, then it's going to wait 10 frames just to give us some time for all of that to process. And then it's going to fade in the screen. And lastly, it's going to turn inside airship. It's just going to turn that switch off. Now, if all of that's been done correctly, it should work in game. So let's jump in and test that out. So now I'm in the airship. If I press shift, it teleports me all the way over here. Now I'm on the airship and the airship is flying through the sky. We also need a way to get back to where we were. In order to get back to the world map, what you're going to need to do is set up an event. So I'm just going to use a pilot. He's just gonna ask, are you ready to land? We'll show choices. And on yes, what it's going to do is fade out the screen, transfer the player with the variables map data, player X and player Y. It's then going to get on vehicle and then fade in. Let's see how that works. Just before I do though, I'm going to jump into the system and lower the volume of that airship. All right, so now we've teleported to this airship and we've got our captain here. So let's talk to him. Ready to land? Yes. And then it transfers us back over to the world map. Now the good thing about this is this works, if I were to go over water, I can do the same thing. It'll teleport me here, and then I'll teleport back. And I'll be boarding the airship while I'm over water. Even if I'm over a mountain, I can do the exact same thing. 
Now something I've wanted to do for quite a while is show the basic tutorial using, you know, quick mapping, small events, just the basics of how to do the specific function. And then at the very end of the video, go absolutely all out and make the best looking system I can using the same mechanics that I've provided in the tutorial. Doing so does mean it takes extra time to record and edit these videos. So let me know what you think of the following, and I might consider doing this for more videos in the future. By the way, I didn't really celebrate my 1,000 subs, so hooray, uh, we're nearly at 1,200. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a like. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.